Hi, welcome to another video. So, Kimi K2 has been pretty amazing. Like, it's the only open source model right now that actually beats state of the art stuff like Claude Sonnet and even gives proprietary models a tough time, which is honestly kind of wild. If you've been following the channel, you probably remember when DeepSeek dropped and everyone was like, whoa, open source is catching up. But now, with Kimi K2, it's like a whole new deep seek moment all over again. Except this time, it's even bigger. Moonshot AI is the company behind Kimi K2, and they're actually a pretty new lab out of China. But they've just gone and dropped this absolute monster of a model. One trillion parameters, 32 billion activated per pass, and it's all mixture of experts which is quite awesome. But the best part? They actually released open weights. Like, you can go to Hugging Face, download the whole thing, if you have a spare terabyte lying around, and run it yourself. That's something we just haven't seen at this scale before. DeepSeek V3 was 671B, and this is 1T. So yeah, it's a big deal for the open source community. Now, on the API side, the official pricing is honestly not bad at all. If you use the Moonshot AI platform, you're looking at around $0.60 cents per million input tokens and $2.50 per million output tokens for the preview model, with a context window of 128k tokens. That's actually pretty reasonable compared to stuff like Sonnet or even the OpenAI models which can get super expensive if you're doing bigger jobs. But there's a catch, and I think this is something a lot of you have probably run into if you've tried using it over the last week or so. The downtime and the slow speeds are kind of a bummer. Like, the moonshot endpoint sometimes just goes down, and even when it's up, it's not exactly what I'd call snappy. It was recently added to Open Router as well which is kind of cool because you can route your requests through a bunch of different providers. But even there, the speeds were still a lot slower than what you'd want for serious coding or agentic workflows. If you look at the open router provider stats, most of them were doing about 10, 12, maybe 8 tokens per second. And honestly, at that speed, it's kind of unusable for anything interactive especially if you're used to stuff like Grok or even Gemini Flash, which just blasts out tokens. So, there's that. But now, Grok has also added the Kimi K2 model, and you can use it via Grok directly. And it's also now available through Open Router with Grok as a backend. This is actually insane, because Grok is known for being ridiculously fast, and with Kimi K2, you're getting something like 222 tokens per second. Just to put that in perspective, that's literally orders of magnitude faster than what you'd get with most other providers. And it's not just fast for the sake of being fast. It actually works really well for code. I tried it out with a couple of long coding prompts, and it just chews through them, no problem. It's almost like having Claude Sonnet but at 222 tokens per second, which is wild to think about. And the cost? It's way less than Claude or GPT-4. On Grok, it's like $1 per million input tokens and $3 per million output tokens, which is insanely cheap for the kind of performance you're getting. Like, if you're running coding agents, or you want to do big batch jobs, or you just want a super fast chatbot, this is honestly the best deal right now. I mean, I liked it. It's the kind of thing where you just don't have to worry about the bill racking up, which is quite awesome. There's also a new free endpoint for it as well, which is awesome if you want to try that out. Now, let me show you how you can get this configured with tools like Klein, Roo, Kilo, and even OpenCode, so you can get the fastest AI coder running for you. But before we do that, 
Let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now. Back to the video. First of all, head on over to VS Code. Now, make sure that you have upgraded Klein, RuCode, and Kilo to the latest version. You can just go to Klein, and here you can easily go to Settings, and then select the Open Router option, and then select Kimi K2. It by default tries to use the model with the most uptime, and it will generally be Grok. However, if you want to be sure about that, then you can add the Nitro tag on the side of it, and it will always route your requests to the highest token per second option, which is Grok. It also has the Grok option in the provider list. So, if you want to use it through there directly, then you can do that as well. Anyway, there's also the RuCode option, and you can just get it configured there directly as well if you want to do that. And there's also Kilo Code. Kilo Code gives you about $20 of free credits that you can use with this. You can just go to Settings and then select the Kimi K2 option here, and it will automatically route your request to the best one, which is Grok. And that is how you can set this up. If you want to use it with Open Code, then you'd have to run the Open Code Auth login and then select the Open Router option and then enter your API key. Then just head on over to Open Code and set up the model as Kimi K2, and you should be good to go as well. That is mainly how you can use it as well. What's really cool is that you don't have to do any weird setup or custom endpoints. Open Router normalizes everything, so the only thing you need to make sure of is you're selecting the Grok backend for Kimi K2 because that's where you get the crazy fast speeds. Some apps let you pick the provider directly, so just make sure it's set to Grok, and you're all set. It is awesome that you can finally have an open weight, state-of-the-art model that actually works for coding, is super fast, and doesn't cost a fortune. I've waited a long time for something like this, and now it's finally here. Sure, there are still some rough edges, like sometimes the outputs can get truncated if you push it too hard, and the tool calling stuff isn't always perfect. But overall, it's a huge leap forward for open source AI. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.